today it's um, Wednesday the 29th, 28th, 28th of um, February 2018. Uh, presently we have a threat on our hands from the Government of New Zealand, the TPPA 11, which means 11 states, countries, are uh, about to sign the uh, TPPA agreement, uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, program uh, next next um, week on the 3rd of uh, March 2018. Um, <clears throat> what I'm doing here is to challenge their title on their jurisdiction uh, on, and seal. There is no seal in this country of um, uh, Westminster. There's no Queen seal um, um, in their courts. They actually have no, no seal of any sort in the New Zealand government and the Iwi Maori Crown system here. So they're waiting for the Queen to come, to come around the back door through America as a private business. She's a private commercial contractor now and not a Queen as such representing New Zealand and her Maori people. Unfortunately for Maori, uh, she has used them over a number of years since 1952 when she became Queen without a coronation. The coronation she has is not true. And um, the two kings, I'm saying King William IV and King George IV have coronations that are behind our king flag, the eight-pointed uh, star of St. Patrick's flag the Confederation is using at the present time with the Whakameninga have joined on the 6th of February 2018 the Whakameninga that's there now with Hohepa Epiha on the Taumata of Waitangi Marae <coughs> and Willy Pater have joined the government as the Whakameninga of 38 chiefs and Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister, and Winston Peters, Deputy Prime Minister, the Governor General, Patsy Reddy, the um, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, uh, Sion Alais, and um, <clears throat> they have formed with the New Zealand Navy using our flag, the 1834 Declaration of War, State of Emergency flag against third parties, they are, <clears throat> we're calling as Pirates on the High Seas, and Willie Pater himself said to me on video, YouTube, that they're using the flag as a flag on the sea. This flag was given by the King on dry land. It is a King's flag with the Paramount Chiefs, three of them, Tira Waikato Whare Herehere Manukau from Mangatauturi Mountain, Punga Punga Marae, they call Pohara Marae, the Crown Corporations, Trust calls it Pohara Pai, Pohara, Pohara Marae, you can see in the photo with the rock in the background, is the memorial, stone to Mangatauturi Mountain and the Punga Punga Hapu, the original natives, First Nations inhabitants here before everybody else came. That story is hidden. That's the story I'm telling. That's my father-in-law, Peter Mihinui's Marae, and Okarari as well. All of that area <coughs> of Moriori Manukau title. And <coughs> it has been changed on its history and its title. I'm changing it back into its original British title, direct straight into Westminster, where it came from in the first place, under King's bench court laws. I've got in documents here, I'm about to show you in a minute, of how that works to apostolize what I have written over the years, 20 years so far, of all the history of the Confederation of Chiefs, the Whakamenia, uh, the um, incorporations on the Maori side of history, and Mohi Manukau's Freemasons, Whakapapa with Rogan family, that married the Manukau's and the Wainau's on the land titles and the Awaroa Native Bank Magistrate Court in Helensville which made up the first Auckland province title of Ngāti Whātua. The tribe Ngāti Whātua is an alien, foreign, corporate tribe 
It is not real. It has been fabricated by the New South Wales <coughs> government and New Zealand government. Queen's crown assumed sovereign title. Now, once again, the Queen has no seal here and she has no authority over this King's Paramount Chief's title. The three Paramount Chiefs, Te Rewakato Wharehere Manukau and his descendant, Refere from Manukau, and Hori Tikuri from Taheke up north. <coughs> Those three chiefs made a contract deal with this flag, the Confederation flag of 1834 that they're using as a whakamininga is the flag that the king gave to these three paramount chiefs is a contract, private contract, trading bank, commercial title flag. Um, and the three kings, it's connected to with the eight point star flag on the flag on four corners of the earth. They call Na Atua Ewa or Naho Efa or simply the four stars of King George and St. Patrick's political establishment in Westminster. Uh, King William III created the Bank of England Act. He created the Pound Note Act, the Coins and um, Paper Money Pound Note Act, and he also created the Eight Point Star St. Patrick's Municipalities Act to collect the rent from his leased lands, conquered lands, leased lands, that's all these titles are, occupation titles in New Zealand, under leased lands to the King of England. The Queen is a temporary caretaker government. It has no clear title. It's trying to get clear title. It hasn't got that yet because we're standing in the road with this flag. And here they are selling off the land they haven't got title to and especially TPPA, they're making a, a contract deal with those countries are liable. The, the 11 countries that are in this TPPA is liable. That's why Trump pulled out. He didn't want to go with it because it's already the Queen's country. America is owned by the Queen corporate crown, Rothschild Banks. And they are the same title here in New Zealand under the Rothschild Banks and we are taking the pound note over with the Moai pound note currency on fraud titles as instruments on the pound note against third party pirates on the high sea. So I'm going to run through this in a moment. I'll just explain a little bit of this uh, memorial to Mangatokuri Mountain, this rock you see, and Peter Mihinui house was here, where that house is, further back next to the rock, <coughs> close to the rock, they shifted it, Tainui and the Iwi Māori, Runanga, shifted it to the back of the um, Papakainga, or the um, family uh, hapu's land, and I'm going to fix that up and put it right. It was standing right here, behind this house, next to the rock, as Moriori Managao title and the original native um, heritage has been altered. The marae has been altered from Punga Punga Marae to Pohara Marae, or Poor Man's Marae. And that's been mischievously done by Tainui, Iwi, Runanga. I'm saying not the hapu of uh, Tainui. It was the Iwi fabricated Ngāti Whātua tribe an equivalent of ISIS in America doing the same thing to the American native people is the same scenario here of legacy of that crooked crown corporation private business for them their own um, uh, economic and investment interests banking and not the public of New Zealand they have defrauded the public of New Zealand and in particular they've defrauded the paramount chief is not the same as the Iwi Maoris or the Whakamininga chiefs. There's a big difference on the side of the flag they're using under the Queen, third party. They are third party. 
the Whakamenina, making contracts with the enemy that they've been despising all these years, it's because it's Māori. The word Māori, the word iwi, is a construct or legal document, name, corporate, patented, copyrighted name belonging the ownership of the Crown Corporation. New Zealand, not the British Crown, the Australian New Zealand <coughs> foreign company that has nothing to do with Maori. It has nothing to do with anybody. It's just a business name. They've used that business name that Maori don't know. That the flag they're flying is not theirs. The King did not give this flag. 1834 flag of King William IV. He did not give it to Maori because there was no Maori in 1834. There was only native and paramount chiefs. Paramount was a legal term for a native chief. It was given to them. That name was given to them for this flag of money, flag of trade and flag of buying and selling land as instruments for commerce. The King of Commerce, the King of the Sea, King William IV and King George IV, his brother, made a deal with Te Rewaikato Wharehere here in Manukau to continue to this flag to make the flag go around the world on the original title. In 1823, King George IV was crowned uh, um, um, king and his coronation, his, his coronation was 1823. That's the year he made a contract deal to sell New Zealand under the Moriori Manukau title with Te Rawakato Wharehere in Manukau right here on this memorial to that contract. That stone rock, like all memorials, a stone, a bliss and Maui statue is a memorial to the land, to the document of value. Okay, so that's how they made the instruments to buy and sell property, to buy land and everything in trade with one and the other country. So that's why I'm doing apostoly to legalize all these documents, legalize me. I'm waiting for a passport, new one, <coughs> to say who I am. What I am, they check me out to make sure I'm um, authentic and I'm true and um, uh, I'm not wanted for any criminal offence. The only criminals are the ones who are fabricating all this whakapapa of Ngāti Whātua. So, a warning to Ngāti Whātua on this video, fact-cited evidence <coughs> that I am billing you 970 million trillion trillion pound note on this latest document I'm about to show you take notice. You're on notice today, uh, before the 3rd of March, next week, with your TPPA 11, that's what it's called, TPPA 11, state agreement in your Trans-Pacific Partnership deal to run your own corporate system of conglomerates, the same as the EU Parliament, over the government of New Zealand and particularly over our dual government arrangement with Britain, UK, Hanover on a dual partnership with this flag and the first Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, our legal partner and Westminster Government Parliament, the connection to King William IV, monarch sovereign title. We are his partner. And his descendant, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, is the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, 250 countries under this flag, right today and previous to this on the native magistrate courts that we have opened. Twelve, twelve magistrate courts that are running these documents, once they're legalised, we have the right, the legal right, to bankrupt any threat against our public of New Zealand and Paramount Chief's financial investment bank commercial interests. So I'm just going to go straight on to this document now, the apostolate.
<coughs> let's go through um, Fortune Manning, <coughs> Tony Manning, uh, Tony uh, Fortune Ming, sorry, uh, that um, he's meeting with me, supposed to be this week, and um, Thursday or Friday, tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to have to hurry to put this together to send to him, and so I'm just going to go briefly through this and explain what this apostolate is all about, and just explain to you that we are an authority of a king's jurisdiction and its authority to rule under these Apostoli, apostolized documents and myself being legal and the flag being legal and the power note being legal currency to levy or bill debtor as judgment debtors anyone who is breaking the king's laws and the paramount chief's laws of the land native so here we go <clears throat> We're just going to skip through this because it's about 30 pages of um, a, a public document that will be signed here below with Morris Baker uh, for uh, Hori Takuri, Paramount Chief of Taheke in the Hokianga Harbour, and myself, the seals and stamps of myself as executor, and Morris Lobo Baker as administrator <coughs> of those three chiefs, the two Waikato chiefs and Hori Takuri will be signed here and stamped with our seals, our own seals and the, the lawyer's seals to go into the government, internal affairs of New Zealand and the foreign affairs of Britain, UK. So it'll cost us a penny or two to get this done, to make these documents um, legal and uh, to use um, on any unsuspecting person who is breaking our laws. So here I have a list of um, uh, um, word, wording of the extent of what I've written myself in my own handwriting <coughs> and certain acts that we use to um, make our um, authority be known uh, with those three chiefs and those three kings. Uh, so we go through here uh, and it's supposed to be um, done by tomorrow so I'm going to just skip through all this will be on Facebook so you can read it properly so I'm just going over it on this uh, video with um, uh, Dion um, Paco Walker uh, my friend um, and so we get to this photo here of Tera Waikato Wharehere here in and the Marae up there but I'm going to put the, the right photos here I had before uh, and I'm still constructing these documents to go to the um, um, Tony um, uh, Fortune lawyer to seal to send into the government. That's Mangatotari Mountain here of um, the Chief's power on the top and in the Cambridge region to Cambridge, England. So I've written in here all these words to um, make our complaint to the Brit Britain and um, British government about New Zealand and here's the charges <coughs> that we have leveled against them of treason, economic treason, terrorism, fraud and deception, conspiracy to commit unlawful acts, murder, kidnapping, theft, intimidation, crimes against humanity, crimes against the environment, enslavement, wrongful arrest and conviction, unlawful um, seizure of lands and possessions, TPPA threat on our Pacific State seabed titles, Queen Elizabeth II conflict of third party interests. So those are the uh, offences I'm levelling against the government here and all its corporate members in the world linked to these blueprint native title. This native title of Te Rewaikato, Wharehere in Manukau has gone right to the world as a blueprint for every other native indigenous country in the world is right here. They can claim the same claim as what we are claiming and <coughs> this was forthcoming and we're going to complete this um, um, citation and as a uh, position and control writ warrant. It means it's a um, warrant to arrest property and assets from those who we um, uh, allegate 
as um, alleged as fraudsters of this whakapapa, of Tina Waikato as a woman, the chief I'm telling you about, they turned into a woman for Ngāti Whātua, um, iwi, Māori, Crown, corporate, private company. It's just a private company that has nothing to do with anybody. It's their own money that they're raking out of you unsuspecting people in New Zealand if I didn't tell you. If I didn't tell you, it's because I am my own competent witness, which legally means I know more about it than the lawyer who I'm paying for the information I'm giving him. It costs me a penny or two. In fact, short of 20000 Okay, I'm just telling you what Morris said. What the cost of me giving someone of less intelligence information he didn't know that got them on this land in the first place. They didn't get on this land without somebody's authority. It wasn't the Queen's. It was not the Queen's. It was the King's Emperor's title that I'm linked to as executor of these chiefs and their Moriori Manukau Trust. The Ma Maui Crown and Moriori Manukau Trust. <coughs> <clears throat> so we're going along the whakapapa that has been fabricated. I won't go on through it, but I'm putting the history of what Ngāti Whātua wrote, the iwi, runanga, here you can see runanga or Ngāti Whātua. They have written this and I'm citing these statements on this document as fraud. Fraud and defrauding you, the public of New Zealand, and ID identification theft of birth certificates, birth, death and marriage certificates for their own financial company's interests. And we go along through these tribes, Te Rorua, Te Rarua, Ripia, Naumai and Kupehu Marais and Rahiri, Ngāti Rahiri, Ngāti Kawa, Ngāti... <coughs> uh, every Ngāti there is, Ngāti Pro and Ngāitahu they're all in this scam. I'm saying on this video, it's a scam. And I'm proving beyond a doubt that if they don't refute what I'm saying, they have not refuted anything on Facebook, is admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London. The videos, the 13, 1537 YouTube videos are admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London and any court of law, even in New Zealand. I won my case on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, against the CID police of New Zealand, Auckland Central, the biggest police station in this country, <coughs> and because of the police insufficient evidence against me was what I'm just telling you now. They don't have title, and Cook Street is a fraudulent title without the Manukau's name on it. I'm talking about Manukau's name is supposed to be on the titles in Auckland. It's not. They turned down and rejected my caveat to put the Manukau's name on the title and that was why we're taking that land back and any other land back now because of that fraud. The courts didn't handle it, left me out of the courts and <clears throat> that's what won my case. The judge said to my barrister, Shannon Withers, asked them, oh John wants to say something. The judge said, there's no need to, it's all on YouTube. And there, I draw my case. The YouTube wins cases better than a piece of paper. <coughs> my lips are moving. What I say is me and real. I swear to God Almighty, <coughs> I tell the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. And that's all it takes. Truth, deeds of truth, is hard to beat in any court case when you've got the facts and everything a court hasn't got is discovered. Everything I'm telling you before the lawyer gets it is discovered. The courts can't use it. That's why I'm making it public on these videos because the courts and the lawyers and the judges don't like anybody knowing. They want to be first to know. They're the last to know. You're the first to know in the world watching these videos to know the truth about what's happening here is happening to you in your countries and wait for what happens here first. So this is what I'm writing <coughs> and the Papa 
that's <coughs> fabricated the titles of New Zealand. I'm just going to have to fix these um, documents up before I send them, but I'm just adding the story of Ngāti Whātua in the red, and you'll see some words I'm going to just say to you. I'm just going to quote some words, then absolute owners is words, and um, I'm going to find a word that, that we were talking about earlier. <coughs> clearly, the court clearly should have appointed a new trustee. They didn't. They carried on. Um, and here's another one. Suggesting ancestral claims by a number of differing ancient possessors. So it wasn't a straight cut run with Ngāti Whātua. And here's another one. Without naming his tūpuna. Right? These, 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 are, these are fraudulent. And Ripiro is a husband of this Terawaikato fabricated female name of Terawaikato, the male. They've, that, they've taken this name and made their whakapapas of what I've just showed you out of it, and that's fraud. It constitutes fraud and treason against the people of this country. I want you to know that. And here's another quote. Um, Paramas Whakapapa from Pako Fati was manufactured, the word manufactured, for the purpose of excluding Ngāti Whātua interests. So they were battling each other with words. They had this thing about words. I've written all the rest of this in my own response to that and Chris Frinson, Queen Elizabeth's Crown, New South Wales, Victoria, Crown Corporate Fraudsters. I'm calling them fraudsters. Default contract to me, the judgment debtors, their judgment debtors to my Crown King William for trust judgment creditors. So we're the judgment creditors, they are the judgment debtors with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note against their heads as bounty on their heads. So that's all that's there. The, the other document won't open up on here of all the other uh, photographs that are, uh, are not showing up on the documents. So I'm just going to uh, more or less leave it there on that. I can't open the file so um, I'm, I just want to finish off by saying uh, that um, we have a contest on our hands, a legal contest against the Crown Corporation's Iwi Māori, Runanga, <coughs> acting politically as a parliament of their own without clear title. They have borrowed the hapu's titles and have created an equivalent to ISIS and America to make each other fight so that they can make money out of fighting war, bank wars and the Rothschilds is the same pattern of offending in America and around the world is inside this Waitangi Marae that the flag on the ship of Admiralty is flying on dry land and Willie Pater of the Whakameninga of chiefs in Kaio around that Mangamuka area have claimed this flag that belongs to us as their authority on the sea. So that's the flag there um, he's pointed to, um, uh, they are pointed to with the eight point star of St. Patrick municipalities. The eight point star is from Northern Ireland and Belfast as the Patrick family of, um, of that King William III uh, chose uh, to put that star as the authority for collection of fines, the collection of land leases and the collection of administrative costs to run the conquered lands countries under a government there which is in contrary. The government of New Zealand is in breach of the flag sovereign authority of those kings, the three kings. And that's all I want to say for now.
Thank you very much. What's the date today?